Hello, my name is Abyss Beast, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be covering the Soma and Karnan. So to start off, we're just going to take a look at this Evolutions and its perks. So Evolution 1 is normal headshots, moving on. Evolution 2, I chose to increase damage by 12, and then with armor over 450, you get plus 4 punch through. Now, that's not viable on most frames, but, you know, depending on what you want, you could definitely make it work. Evolution 3, I chose Rapid Reinforcement, which is 50% reload speed. This can change how some things work. Sometimes you don't have to run Merciless and can run Deadhead instead for more damage. Um, it can offset the negative of a Riven or something, so definitely worthwhile. And then the fourth one, I chose on Reload from Empty, increase damage by plus 4, stacking up to 3x. The reason why I chose this instead of the critical damage increase that this one has is because it's about a 25% damage increase, and I've found a way to bypass having to reload the weapon three times from empty. So, first thing I'm going to do is get the magazine low. Okay, so I've dropped the magazine down to eight. Now, what happens is the perk for gaining the damage activates at the very beginning of the reload. So, if you dodge or cancel the action via any other means, when this initial reload animation happens, you could stack it up to three instantaneously. Watch. One, dodge, two, dodge, three X. And just like that, it's fully stacked, so you only have to do that once. I don't know if you patch this, you know, take this with a grain of salt, this is coming out the day of. Okay, so looking at the build that we're going to be using for this showcase. Critical delay. This lowers the fire rate, sadly, but it is the highest source of instant crit chance we could get, really, bringing it to 90% on the normal fire. Rhyme Cryo Rounds for cold, Malignant Force to make it viral, Rhyme Rounds, this is a flex slot. I would use this Riven, but as you can see, it has minus multi-shot. I'll get into Rivens later. Uh, Hunter Munitions, because of course it's a crit weapon, we're doing viral, its main IPS is slash anyway. Uh, galvanized Aptitude for the direct damage per status type affecting, because with these, uh, some of the 60 stat mods, and then Aptitude itself, the status chance gets up to decent levels. You'll always have Slash due to Hunter Munitions, so, you know, you could get some Puncture procs, you could get some, um, Viral procs in there too, it helps, or you could use a Primer even. Vital Sense for the critical damage, Galvanized Chamber for the multi-shot, Vigilante Supplies, not so much for the ammo, but for the enhancing critical hits. And then I, of course, went with Deadhead now, because the reload is compensated by the third evolution instead. So, about the Riven, I think this weapon benefits much more from a Riven than I anticipated, even though it's only at a 3 out of 5 uh, dispo. Using this Riven here with a pretty bad negative, it was able to outperform this current build with just a 60 60 cold mod so take it with a grain of salt i do think that a riven will definitely make this weapon shine and that makes me a little bit sad the soma has been my favorite weapon in the game period ever since i started playing back in year one so with that all said let's get to some of the damage testing so again it's just normal soma but now instead of 12 damage base, it has 36. And you know, as we start to get split chamber and uh, all of our galvanized mods up to par, the damage will start to increase. You'll see visibly our test dummies are going down pretty fast. Now, the incarnate form is something special, but it takes a note out of Boltor Prime's book, if you remember that video. So we transform it and stays with the same 200 mag, but the difference is, it now is a very tightly compacted shotgun. You can see there many impacts. I'll try to do it again. Many impacts. I believe seeing something on some website was like 34 pellets base. This is fully auto. So now let's start testing that on these.
Go ahead and there we go. Now that we have full dead head, let's swap back to normal. As you can see, with full dead head active, it could definitely put out some very quick and easy damage. For body shots with the Incarnan. Watching the bleed from Hunter. So, pretty cut and dry. Pretty simple. So, as I always like to do, I'll do a completely armor strip test. It definitely is hitting harder than it used to. Now, that is one thing, the punch through definitely helps, because it, I mean, just watch this. I wasted, like, five more bullets on the enemy in front before I got to the one in the back. And that happens consistently. So this is why I mentioned the Rivens, because with Rivens, you could get crit crit and uh, multi-shot crit crit damage. You know, you could get a whole bunch of things, but punch through depending on your builds, can definitely help, or you could just only use the Soma on a frame with over with over 450 armor to make use of that 4 punch through on the second evolution. Alright, now that I have all the stacks, just gonna compress a uh, prime the first enemy and see what the normal version could do. Yeah. The galvanized shot some statuses, it performs just like old. So let's go in Karnan form, do the same thing. Prime up a couple targets. Keep in mind this is only three statuses base, I don't have Encumber yet. 20,000s. So yeah, if you want this weapon to shine just like the old days, I would definitely recommend picking up a Riven for it. The Incarnate isn't going to blow you away, but if you want to relive the glory days, I definitely think this is a good way to do it.